welcome to Adi's kitchen today I am going to prepare potato curry this is quite simple and very easy potato curry I'm using yogurt to prepare the curry so let us see the ingredients we require this is also called as dahi alu I am taking around three to four tablespoons of oil one cup of beaten yogurt two cups of you know potatoes I have boiled the potatoes and then I have nicely chopped it and fried you know in oil and that's why you see this nice crispy texture you know this is what we need uh, uh, you know for the alu. or some people would like to have only boiled potatoes if you would like to have only boiled potatoes you can do that but I like to have that crunchiness so it's always good to you know fry a little bit in oil and I've got few chopped coriander leaves a little bit of turmeric uh, powder around one and a half tablespoons of red chili powder salt to taste and few mustard seeds just like half a tablespoon and half a tablespoon of uh, cumin seeds let's get started place a pan So into this vessel I'm pouring around you know, two tablespoons of oil once the oil is hot enough we are going to add the mustard seeds and allow it to crackle and then we will add uh, cumin seeds As I said, it's quite a uh, simple preparation, so you can always make it at your home. I'm throwing in mustard seeds. Just allow these mustard seeds to crackle a bit. You know, the mustard seeds are crackling, so I'm also adding cumin seeds reduce the flame at this point of time otherwise you know these uh, mustard seeds and cumin seeds will burn so at this stage just add turmeric powder and red chili powder and add this beaten curd slowly Mix it gently. Add also the remaining yogurt. You know, make sure the flame is completely on low. And now I'm just adding even the rest of yogurt. Just mix this. So at this stage I am adding the potatoes. It's actually a pretty simple dish that you can easily make just uh, saute these potatoes after the potatoes has been added just add the required amount of salt I'm just adding around half a tablespoon you know we are going to check the salt and spiciness and we can adjust according to our taste just saute this and make sure the flame is always on low I have only added just half a tablespoon of salt I am going to check the salt now and then I can adjust
well the salt is perfect and also the spiciness so the dish is finished switch off the flame and just garnish with coriander on top of this see how simple is this dish to make at home try this recipe at your home and enjoy with your family this goes fantastic with the roti or even rice please leave your comments and subscribe my channel